Very very weird situation with my girlfriend, 26F, and I, 25M. So here's my situation. My girlfriend, 26F, and I, 25M, have been together for 8 years. We moved in together a year ago. I love her and we often have a ton of chemistry. Many things are great in our relationship. We do have a few problems but overall things are mostly great. That said, one thing has been happening recently that absolutely boggles my mind and has called the relationship into question. She takes Benadryl nightly for sleep. Not crazy about that in itself but that's another story. And she keeps the bottle in a dresser drawer. We have three cats and their food, water bowls are right next to her dresser. When she takes her pill, for some reason she always pours nearly the entire bottle into her hand. Takes one and puts the rest into the bottle. Because she does this. A pill or two occasionally drops on the floor. I asked her to stop doing it that way. About six months ago, I found a pill in our cat's food bowl. I told her that it worried the hell out of me and that I was worried it could harm the cats if they ingested one. She said that she'd be more careful. I told her no. She had to stop pouring the pills into her hand and only take one from the bottle at a time. She said she'd stop. I noticed her pouring all of the pills out again and I confronted her about it. We came to the compromise that if she had to do it this way, the pills had to live in the bathroom. 34 months later, I again noticed a pill in the cat food and once again the bottle was in her drawer. I was furious. She told me I'm overreacting and that Benadryl is over the counter and sometimes given to animals. I told her that I felt it was insane that she insisted on continuing to pour the pills outright. Next to the cat food, I told her that the pills are absolutely not allowed in the room anymore. Not trying to be controlling. Just trying to protect out cats. Fast forward to today. Again there was a pill right next to the food and once again the bottle of Benadryl is in her drawer. Not sure what to make of this situation. It seems so strange to me. Do you plan in being child free? Because there's no way in hell you should have a kid with someone who doesn't take pills seriously. Kids get into everything. And it's just Benadryl for now. But how you use and abuse one medication. That's how she'll continue to act if she ever has to go on some other medication. I have to take Synthroid daily. It's just one small pill that keeps me alive. It's also sweet tasting and kids don't know not to take any and sure won't stop at one. Are you sure that the pills in the bottle are Benadryl? My ex had a similar habit before bed and it took me months to realize that he had been emptying something else into the same bottle. The reason he poured out so many was to palm a few so it looked like he was only taking one instead of six. It's given to cats in tiny doses like a sixth of a pill. Stand up to her. I did take half a Benadryl to sleep when I was going through menopause but I did it like three times a week. So it does help but actually one pill for a cat is way too much she could harm them. Thank you for all of the comments. I've read every single one and deeply appreciate so many people reaching out. Obviously the Benadryl concerns the hell out of me. I feel like I only have so much say in it. I've told her how I feel and have tried to help her find alternatives. She kinda insists that she's taken it her entire life and it's safe. So that's that. She really doesn't hear me on that. And yes, the food bowl can easily be moved. And I guess it will be. But the moral of the situation is what really gets me. I just don't understand why she's so dead set on pouring the entire bottle out right above the cat. Food when either a taking one out at a time or b taking the pills literally anywhere else in the house would completely solve the problem. Seems like such a simple change and she's refusing to try to work with me. Thank you for letting me vent heart. She shouldn't be taking it every night. Body will build up a tolerance to it. 
If she insists then suggest to her to get the pill pack one so she has to pop out one pill at a time. I can't pinpoint exactly what's wrong with your girlfriend. But something definitely is. And it's not good. If this doesn't give you an insight into the type of person she is. I don't know what will. Whether she has a comprehension problem. Or is just ignorant. Selfish. Lazy. Careless. It doesn't really matter. The issue will most definitely extend in other areas of her life. It's up to you how much you are willing to put up with. I feel bad for the cats. Yes Benadryl is safe for cats in certain small doses. But a whole pill dissolving in their water can't possibly be good and it's a tragedy waiting to happen. Until you decide what to do. Can you maybe move the cat bowls in a different room? Or somewhere that is not by her dresser. Although if she continues to drop them on the floor. The cats will still find them and potentially eat them. She really needs to grow up and be more responsible. That's the only solution. This is something out of the twilight zone. Get Benadryl in the blister pack. Or a daily pill box. HTTPS www.petcarerx.com slash article slash giving your cat Benadryl slash 3296 It's not that dangerous for the cats. I'm not suggesting you drug your cats on purpose. But it's probably not a life or death situation. HTTPS www.bcm.edu slash news slash experts warn against antihistaminously paid but also, it's not a suitable long-term sleep aid. HTTPS www.medicalnewstoday.com slash articles slash 325169 hash professional information. Abusing Benadryl may lead to dementia. Look into the long-term side effects. Is the dresser close to the bed? My guess is that this habit has predated the cats. Taking allergy meds is part of my nighttime routine but I keep them right next to the bed. It'd be kind of challenging to reroute. That said when meds fall into the food bowl my hope is that the person responsible takes responsibility. Move the cat bowls. Problem solved. 1. If she won't move the Benadryl, just move the cat food. It's been a year. How has this not happened yet? 2. Taking Benadryl every night is bonkers unless she has talked to a doctor about it. Point 3. I wouldn't be so sure that it's Benadryl. Um I feel compelled to telephone you a story. I had a cat with sneezy issue at times and many many people told me it's fine to give your cat half. A Benadryl. Supposedly a lot of people do it. My cat began foaming at the mouth and convulsing. She also laid flat on her stomach and her back legs moved out behind her. Never saw her or any other cat do that before. Luckily I had syringe type droplet thing for small amounts of liquid and quickly gave her a ton of water through her mouth and she threw up and was okay 5 minutes later. Your concerns are 100% valid. It's such an easy fix. This is bizarre enough that I'd find my partner too uncaring to continue on. Add. It might have been a fourth but I had a pill cutter and gave her what was suggested. It's possible that she just honestly does not feel it's a danger to the cats and that you are over. Reacting. I have no clue why she wouldn't move the bowls herself. Yeah. It's weird. If she doesn't show any other signs of animal abuse or neglect just move the bowls and know she is stubborn in some ways. She possibly also might not care about animals. It's normal to have the meds in the bedroom since it's for going to sleep. But why on earth do you have the cats eating in the bedroom? Their food and water should be in the kitchen. Far away from the meds. It's not great to be taking those every night. Have her switch to melatonin gummies or something. As another commenter said, don't plan on having kids until she takes her pill popping seriously. 
My takeaway from this whole thing is she keeps the car food next to her dresser? Like she's sniffing cat food all night long as she sleeps. That's so gross. Info. Why is your GF trying to poison your cats? Did she ever mention anything related to not liking the cats? Honestly. This doesn't sound like an accident. If I ever accidentally caused potential harm to my pet I'd be freaking out. No matter what the medication is. So doing multiple times? Not cool and definitely suspicious. Is she allergic to cats? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.